Flyfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we're going to be tying, uh, I call it my killer caddis, um, and it's actually in my, in my, uh, in the book I wrote, the insect guide. Uh, it's on page uh, 133, it's this one right here down in the corner, killer caddis. Super, super, super simple to tie, deadly, <coughs> deadly effective. So, again, that's out of my insect guide that I wrote. Um, page 133. Okay, so without further ado, it is uh, in the vise here. I have a Hens VL 564 in a size 10. I, I tie, I'll tie this with the Hens hooks. I'll tie them in a 12, 10, and an 8. Um, these are just some glass beads from from Michaels, right? Just uh, Just glass beads. And then <clears throat> How I'll start is I'll start with some green thread. A lot of times I like using a, a brighter thread on these. I found that uh, I used to tie them. <clears throat> if you look in the book there, I used to tie them a lot in uh, in uh, lighter color, uh, like that olive. But uh, I found that uh, using this brighter really helps. So, so you just want to make sure that you can have that go back you want to leave a little bit of room at the head for your hackle right so you want to build a dam about there so that's about where I'm going to build a dam just gonna go down a bit back up a bit go down a bit this dam using this brighter green really helps um, with a, like it get, creates a bit of a hot spot as well right so just see no, a little bit more like I said, it's fairly simple pattern to tie. Just getting this first little bit in this dam started. And yeah, so that's good right there. So then I can move those forward out of the way. Give myself a three, four turn whip finish. Give that a nip. Nip and a little bit of. I like using the, a crazy glue, instant glue, here. Again, I just just a dab on the top and a dab on the bottom here, just to first of all to hold the knot, but second of all when I push that on, it'll hold that as well. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm gonna. Restart my thread in the front here now. Could have actually come forward just a bit with that, that thread dam, but I'm okay with it where it is. So now I'll take some, it depends what you like, but uh, I like the mallard flank. Now the only difficult thing with this pack is I think I've picked out almost all of the smaller ones, so I might have to might be a bit of a battle. Nope, I don't want it. that one will do. I want it to come back to the bend of the hook. Right? I want the uh, this hackle to come back to the bend of the hook. So just strip the fluff off the back here. Maybe strip a little bit more off. And then I'm going to tie this in by the tip. So I'm just going to spread that apart. And just get that tip. If you have problems get, grabbing that tip, get your hackle pliers and grab the center and then stroke everything back. So now I'm just going to lay this on my side. Tie this in. Nip off that little excess piece. Make sure that's tied in nicely. I like doing a half hitch at this point just to make sure I don't knock it off. <clears throat> Then if you want to use hackle pliers, you can. I like feeling it myself with these smaller flies with my fingers. So then I'm just going to go right up against that bead for my first wrap. And then I'll just slowly move it back each wrap, right? And make sure I stroke back all my materials. I only want about three turns here. If the stuff doesn't cooperate with you, wet it a bit if you have to. There's the second turn. 
third turn. Let's see how's that gonna look? Uh, you know what? I think I might give it one more. Just gonna give that one more, and then I will lock that off. Lock that off. Bring the stem back. Build up a little bit of that chartreuse colored head. Uh, don't go too far back though. All right. Cut off your center stem. Put finish. Pull that nice and tight. Cut off your thread. And take your brush, toothbrush, whatever you've got, and just try to separate those fibers a little bit. So this is a little long. Um, like I said, I'm most of the fibers I have left in this pack are, are really long ones, so um, it is a little long. I would have liked to have just stop there, but a little bit longer is, is okay. I honestly rather have a little longer than a little shorter in this. And that's, that's your finished pattern. Um, you just do a little, little bit of head cement on there, and you're done. That's it. Super simple pattern. Works like a hot damn. Um, if you want this to sink really quick, instead of using the, uh, instead of using the glass beads, go with uh, some small brass beads. Instead of using the glass, use the small brass beads or tungsten. And uh, like I said, it'll sink like an absolute rock. And uh, I've done very, very well with this in the rivers and in the lakes. Uh, really slow retrieve in the lakes, uh, just a dead drift in the rivers. So, alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Um, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving a copy away, a copy of both of my books, the Insect Guide and the uh, the Freshman. Um, as well as an assortment of uh, flies that I've tied on this channel. So, uh, uh, yeah, subscribe, and then uh, everybody will be eligible. Tie lines, everyone.